this is Isabella, and if you want to support our channel, drop an anchor on that subscribe button. Alright. So, we're not quite in the middle of our crossing over to the Mackinac Straits yet, but uh, we still don't got nothing for wind. Every now and then we stick the motor in neutral. The best we can do is like 1.5, 1.75 knots. Two knots top. We'll never get to Mackinac Island um, in time for sundown or whatever uh, at that pace. So, right now we're motor sailing. So, <laughs> we got the motor running behind us. The lake is still absolutely calm though. We're pretty much be calm. And, and anywhere, but we're also surrounded by fog. It's not quite foggy around us, but we're surrounded by fog still. So we heard a freighter on the radio coming in through the straits here, um, requesting, I think a lighthouse got turned on or something, is what Parker said. Is that what you said? Yeah. yeah. We're heading right for, um, I can't remember, I think this one's White Shoals. Lighthouse. I'll have to look it up again to make sure. I'm pretty sure this one's the Northern Lighthouse because we went north um, right after Hog Island on purpose because I wanted to head um, easterly as often as possible based on where the wind is. But we're heading right toward, I can barely see it out of the fog, uh, White Shoals Lighthouse. And we're going to pass that. Are you excited? Yeah. Yeah? That's going to be so cool, huh? What did you say before it was? A floating... No, don't no, run. Right. We're heading light, right, right toward that lighthouse, and then we can uh, do the next leg of our crossing here. But yeah, we can't see nothing, so we're keeping a vigilant eye. Uh, everybody's keeping an eye out, binoculars and everything, just to make sure there's not a freighter coming. Um, there's some pretty big ones out here, so. Other than that, what a gorgeous day. Uh, swells are less than a foot, maybe up to a foot every now and then at this point. Not much for wind, but it is now it's turning into just a beautiful, beautiful day. Wind to pick up, just give me about five more knots. It'd be perfect. And I think it's going to in a little bit. We got out really early and you know the lake was becalmed when we got out, so I think give it another hour. Give it another hour and we'll just be under sail all the way to Mackinac Island. And you know what? I was right. It didn't quite take an hour, but pretty soon the wind had picked up a little bit. And we hoisted the sails and it was motor free, noise free, just beautiful, beautiful sailing through the fog toward the White Shoals Lighthouse. Now construction of the White Shoals Lighthouse began in 1908 and the lighthouse itself was commissioned in 1910. This particular lighthouse is extremely unique. The massive original lens was a second order Frenzel lens. It had a two-sided design known as a bivalve configuration and each side featuring seven refracting and 15 reflecting uh, prisms. Just something interesting, it is the sole aluminum topped lighthouse in the Great Lakes. Most of the other lanterns are cast iron. The high visible diagonal Daymark paint job, sometimes described as the red and white candy stripe or candy cane stripe, is the only barber pole, quote, lighthouse in the United States. Lately, the state of Michigan has used it as you know, kind of an icon to generate revenue, you know, more like a graceful ornament. Its construction was a major engineering feat because of its distance and isolation from land. And what's really interesting, in addition to the fog signal, it also had a submersible bell that would toll the number 23 to warn off mariners. From our perspective, this lighthouse was just mystical coming out of the fog. Not only was it a blessing for us because for the first time in a couple hours we actually knew our positions. We were doing chart plotting the whole way out there based on compass, speed, and uh, just the best that we could do. Um, being that we couldn't see and we didn't have signal to use an AIS or any kind of navigational means. And so we were winging it. We were, we were on our own getting around these reefs and through these shoals and um, when we saw that, uh, that beautiful, that old kind of ghostly lighthouse coming out of the, the fog, it was a relief that, hey, we were kind of knew where we were at and we were heading in the right direction. Nothing like a little old school sailing with your son to show him it can still be done. Oh. I suppose while we're here, I should also say, if you notice from uh, the sailing home from Garden Island videos, uh, we ended up uh, climbing the mast in between. I didn't get a video of it. And what happened was, is the reason there was so much belly in the, 
in, in the mainsail was because one of the tracks was stuck up at the top of the mast. So we climbed that up, we fixed it, Isabella climbed it again, everything's good, and as you can see, now the mainsail is hoisting up like it's supposed to. We lost all our wind again. Time to get her going. Uh, every time with this son of a I gotta screw with the that mother son of a linkage in here. Linkage. Uh I think I got her. Got her! All right. Got her. our sails here in a bit. Forecast keeps falling for it, but you know, especially in the northern Great Lakes, them sons of on the Weather Channel, or Windy, or any other weather service that I can uh, that I can think of, they never get it right up here, especially this time of year. But hell. Yeah. Motor sailing's better than nothing at all. <laughs> Don't you think, Parker? Yeah. Yeah? Maybe we'll catch some wind. We're surrounded by fog. I think we can see about three miles now. Well, not that way, but that way. So, can't see three miles south, north. Looks like we can see three miles south. I'd say north is probably about a mile yeah, mile. So, maybe a mile and a half. So, alright, let's cross this uh, strait where the freighters come in and then it's on our way to the Mackinac Bridge through the straits. Hey, what'd you say? Freighter coming out of the fog? Hey, Captain, the watch. I know we're a little late. You already pointed it out to me, but what you see? They asked me what that was because you were paying attention to the fog, right? I was paying attention.
And that's why you got to stay vigilant, Parker, right? Whenever you're, especially when you're on the helm, you always need to be vigilant 360 all the time, especially in the fog. That's why we're going with our navigation lights on. Boy, just uh, the end of the freighter is just starting to come out of the, out of the fog, isn't it? Well, now people can actually see how far we can really see the fog. You still can't see the top of it there. And that's why we're always paying attention right there. Well, even though we kept having to turn the motor on and off again and put the sails up, put the sails down, and, and just get as much sailing as we could out of this weird, ghostly, foggy day, one thing that was absolutely for certain is it was a good time. She's a beautiful sight though, isn't she? It was a father-son good time. It was a day that Parker is gonna remember the rest of his life. It's a day that I'm gonna remember the rest of my life because this was 10 hours of nothing but a beautiful, beautiful sail. It is a beautiful sight. And later, it even became even more dangerous. You'll see that going under the mighty Mac, the fog came rolling back in, we couldn't see nothing again. All the way out to Mackinac Island, we even about ran aground. Oh, she's a beautiful thing. Of course, that's for a later video as we continue on with this trip, but yeah, I just wanted to reiterate how beautiful it was out there, how mystical, how ghostly, and how, how original of an experience it was. Something that most people don't even get to, and something that I was able to experience with my son. It was a day to be cherished. That is, <laughs> until the flies came. So, if any of you sail or boat the Great Lakes, and you're sitting out there in the middle of the lake, and you get these little, like, black, spotted winged horse flies kind of things, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Bug spray doesn't seem to help, nothing I've done seems to help, and these things bite, and they're annoying, and man, how they get out in the middle of that lake and annoy you so much. Can't quite see the fog, but it's starting to get a little warm out, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah? I don't know, but let me tell you something. If you have a trick for those Great Lakes little black flies that you use out there in the lake to make yourself a little more comfortable, would you do me a favor? Write that in the comments below. We'd really like to hear it. after that last tack. The wind just swirled on us, didn't it? Yeah. What do you say we get that cleaned up? That way it's not a tripping hazard. Right? What's the number one rule? Keep a clean cockpit. Safety. Yeah. <laughs> Well, the fog's rolling back up on us quick. I think we're down to about, I don't know, 150 yards of visibility. We're on a course. We get to 
north end of the Mackinac Bridge right now. We're outside of the shipping lane, but just barely. The fog is extremely closing in on us again. We didn't even know we were going under it until we did. Holy cow! Hey guys, like, comment, and don't forget to drop your anchor on that subscribe button.